Question one. What is Mpox and how does it spread? Mpox is an infectious viral disease that is associated with various symptoms, including fever, swollen lymph nodes, as well as a painful rush. So what we know so far, Mpox is transmitted from person to person, mainly through close contact with someone who has Mpox, including among household members. Again, from current reports, most cases of Mpox are mild, resolving within a few weeks. But we're seeing that in some people, particularly children, pregnant women, and people with weak immune systems, enduring a more severe disease, with some cases being fatal. Second question, where are we seeing the most Mpox cases so far? We're seeing a rise in number of cases of Mpox, particularly in Africa, where most cases have been reported in the Democratic Republic of Congo, a country that has been impacted by decades of conflict and now hosting some 7.3 million internally displaced people and about 500,000 refugees. Amongst these many cases of Mpox being reported, we're starting to see some refugees contracting Mpox in some of these countries. So next question, what are UNSCR's concerns about the potential impact of Mpox on refugees and on displaced populations? So UNSCR is particularly concerned about the conditions that refugees and displaced people find themselves in, including overcrowded settlements and sites with inadequate shelter, making it difficult to self-isolate. We're also concerned about the inadequate food rations that are affecting the ability to fight off illnesses. We're also concerned about the poor water and sanitation facilities and inadequate access to basic hygiene items like soap. And we're concerned about the weak health systems that have been affected by years of conflict with inadequate capacity to respond to recurrent disease outbreaks. We'll go to the next question. What can be done? What is UNHCR doing to help prevent the spread of Mpox among refugees and displaced people. So UNHCR is working with governments, uh, the World Health Organization, and other partners to be able to ensure that refugees and displaced people are included in all aspects of the Mpox preparedness and response plans. And this, some of these activities that we're doing include strengthening the health system capacity, providing as much soap, water, and uh, the hand washing facilities as possible, as well as engaging and effectively communicating with communities who are key partners in the response. Final question, what are the challenges in terms of ensuring refugees and displaced people who contract Mpox can access treatment? So we're concerned that people cannot access healthcare services because of ongoing conflict, which is also affecting access to testing facilities. We're also concerned that with ongoing insecurity, some areas are cut off from much needed humanitarian and development assistance. Some of the operations impacted by this emergency are heavily underfunded and not able to adequately provide essential services like health, water, and sanitation. We need more resources to ensure that no one is left behind.